Welcome back to the LNT Painter YouTube channel. In today's video, we got this beautiful blue techno Maserati Ghibli that we're gonna paint. As you can see, Vladimir did all the repairs, fitted all the new parts. It's a new hood and a new fender. We're gonna blend into the passenger side door. We're gonna blend into the driver's side fender and we're gonna have a new bumper. We're gonna hit the blend door with 1000 grit, sealed fender with 600. This we scuffed up with 600 and we're gonna seal before we paint it. And then blend fender, scuff it up with 1000 grit. Jose is gonna help me prep it and then we'll get it inside. has is an e-coat we need to put our sealer on it to provide proper protection because if you paint over the e-coat it's probably going to chip and flake within a couple years because it's not going to have that uv protection plus we have a little burn throughs on the edges so we want to provide proper protection of the hood area especially since sun is beaming down on it and it's always hot and uh sealer is also going to give us a proper g-shade dark gray sealer undercoat for our paint to match and we have a new bumper which has a light gray primer so we're going to put our sealer on the bumper as well to give it the extra protection and proper pink color match and while the hood is still masked up and sealed i'm actually going to do our two coats of base that way i'm going to limit the overspray on the fenders and we'll do two coats of base on the bumper as well. And then I'm gonna unmask our blend areas, our new fender and our blend door. I'll do two quick coats on the fender, blend into the door. We'll do a control coat over everything, including the bumper. I'm gonna blend into this fender as well. A lot of steps, long process, but this is the best way I found works for me. Because sealer, if you spray sealer on the hood with the fenders and door uncovered, it has so much overspray that the door and fender are just going to have a bunch of dark gray sealer spots. It's going to be super rough. Your base coat's not going to lay out smooth. It's going to be textured and it's just going to be a horrible paint job. So this is the only way. 
unless you seal the hood before putting on the car kind of like what i did with the fender since i jammed the fender i was able to seal the whole fender and then that way we're not gonna have to do another coat of sealer on this unfortunately the hood when it's upside down and i'm jamming the inside i can't really put sealer on the outside so unless i hang it i don't like to hang the hoods while i paint so this is the best way I found that works for me. Okay, our sealer is dry, looking nice and clean, nice and smooth, and we're ready to do our base coat. Like I said, I'm going to do my two coats of base before I unmask the rest of the car so we can blend. Same with the bumper. I got my color mixed up, throw my gloves on, mask, and we'll spray it. Now we have our two coats of base and it's dry. This is what it looks like. Here's our hood. We got nice good coverage, nice and smooth and very clean. Now we can finally unmask the fender and the door. That way we can paint it and blend the door. And we're gonna unmask the fender so we can blend it as well. Check it out, this is what we're looking like after two coats and the control coat over everything. You can see we did our blend on the fender. The fender looked good after I applied my clear base coat blender. So that's a good sign because now we know we had a good color to start with. 
and we still blended it. Looks amazing. Hood looks very nice and clean. Painted and blended the fender and the door. Had a nice clean transition, stayed away from the rear door. That's the whole point of blending is you don't want any color next to the panel that you're not painting. So we're gonna let this dry a little bit more, like 15, 20 minutes before we apply our clear coat. But while it's drying, I got a special delivery in the mail and I'm super excited to open it up. Let me show you guys. Came right on time. Check it out. That's right. Got ourselves a new spray gun. Sagaga 4600 Extreme. Super excited to try this thing. You can use this for clear or base coat. They sent me a Titania cap. This is gonna be for clear coat, 1.3. And I think the gun itself, it comes with the aqua cap made for a base coat, uh, waterborne. So we use a PPG waterborne paint and it's compatible with that as well as clear coat. So let me unbox it real quick. See what comes included and how it looks. And it looks like it has the digital pressure gauge built in. So less things to worry about on the bottom of your gun. So it does come with its own cup, but we can add an adapter for our PPS cups that we have. Here's the gun, very cool. And this is the DVR Aqua air cap that I was talking about. This is used for base coat. And then there's a brush, color adapters. This is the air adjustment. So it's built into this thing. Wow, very cool. So I'm assuming this goes on the bottom. Yep. I'll put the cap on here for clear coat. All right, so here's our Sagawa 4600 Extreme. Love how the gun feels. It feels very light, but at the same time, it's solid, like built quality. You can tell all the knobs, nothing jiggles, nothing shakes, and it has the pressure digital pressure gauge built into the gun so then you're not having to have an adapter here with the gauge and then this is the regulator to adjust the air pressure built in everything's slim everything's nice and clean and it feels very nice like i said i just got this in the mail so i don't have the adapter for our pps system so we're gonna go ahead and use the cup that's provided with the kit we're gonna test this Sagawa, see how it performs, see how it lays out the clear coat, and then see how the product turns out. So very excited. I'm gonna use our mixing cups, mix up our clear, and then we're gonna pour it into the spray gun. And for this job, we're gonna be using Shopline JC7200 with the 7220 hardener. Gonna pour some clear right in there. And this is a good size cup. It fits, uh, I think, like 26 ounces. All right.
painted, looking beautiful, nice and shiny. Very happy with how the Sagawa 4600 Extreme did. Uh, it was my first time trying it, never had a Sagawa, never tried a Sagawa, so very impressed. As you guys can see, the paint job turned out super slick. Having the right equipment definitely helps a lot. Let's get this car out of here and on to the next one. looks good very happy shining like a diamond that is gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys learned something but let me know if you guys like what you see what i'm showing you guys if you guys want to see something else post a comment and let me know otherwise we'll see you guys on the next one <laughs>